नमस्कार आय एम संदीप चौधरी वर्किंग ॲज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंग ए आय एस एस एम एस आय ओ आय टी पुणे दिस प्रेझेंटेशन इज अबाउट सिम्युलेशन ऑफ लिनियर व्हेरिएबल डिफरेन्शियल ट्रान्सफॉर्मर दॅट इज एल व्ही टी कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक्स युझिंग व्हर्च्युअल लॅब व्ही लॅब ऑफ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग पुणे इन दिस प्रेझेंटेशन आय विल यूज द व्हर्च्युअल लॅब वेबसाईट अँड डेमॉन्स्ट्रेट हाऊ टू सिम्युलेट द एल व्ही डी टी कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो दिस इज द वेबसाईट ऑफ व्ही लॅब्स and you have to go to respective website and open this sensor lab a list of experiment will be displayed you have to choose the lvdt characteristics and click here for simulator the moment you click the simulator knob this window will appear in which you can see the lvdt circuit so you can observe primary coil the movable core and two secondaries now you have to click this primary coil and drag it to this rectangle where primary coil is written and leave it in the similar way you have to bring this core or armature at respective place again click the secondary coil and bring it in the respective block once you do this you have to configure this lvdt in configuration the parameters are number of turns the supply voltage which you give to this primary side and the frequency of this supply voltage so these parameters you have to choose so number of turns let us choose as 1000 then supply voltage let us select 5 volt rms and the frequency let's select 1000 hertz and now you have to click configure the moment you click configure you will observe this waveform now this waveform is of 5 volt which we apply to the primary winding and the frequency of this is 1000 hertz okay so this blue color waveform is primary voltage waveform in the graph you can observe on x axis the displacement of core is marked this core can move towards right or towards left when it moves towards right we'll consider it as positive displacement and when it moves towards left we'll consider it as displacement in other direction negative now once you move this core either in right side or left side across the output of secondaries you will get the differential voltage and the moment you move this core towards right or left the differential voltage waveform will appear it will be in red color on the same display and the respective position of core will be marked with a red dot in the characteristics so we'll just try it out i will move this core towards right if you have to move it towards right you have to click on positive so i have clicked it see you can observe the displacement 1 mm previously it was at center 1 mm you can observe the red waveform has appeared now so this is the output voltage which you get resultant voltage so the point on graph is this so this much is the displacement 1 mm and this much is the voltage which you get you can observe the coordinates 1 mm displacement and the voltage is 5.72 so i keep on increasing it see i am 
taking the core towards right so more flux will be linking with this coil the differential voltage or output voltage will increase the red wave form and as displacement is towards right more displacement so you can observe the shift of this point and you will get the more output voltage okay so it is linear when displacement is towards right positive direction in the similar way you can bring this core towards left so i will click on negative and this is how the characteristics will appear i will zoom it now if you observe for positive direction of displacement this resultant voltage red wave form its positive peak first peak rather it is in first quadrant and if i move it in negative direction the first peak is in negative quadrant so that is how we can differentiate whether it is moving towards right or left now once you do this you complete this you have to take screenshot you have to press print screen and take screenshot and you have to submit or you have to paste it in the format provided to you the format contains the name of lab in the first row then the screenshot that means this screen you have to paste and in the third row you have to fill in your details the student name roll number and name of the experiment so this is about the simulation part of elevability the theory part etc it is already covered in class so i expect all of you to perform this experiment and submit the details in the prescribed format